Hello and welcome to Exotic Gardening UK Yorkshire Chris Weekly and on this week's episode we'll be comparing all different species of Trachycarpus palm in their seventh growing year. So it's the seventh growing year in the garden for these Trachycarpus palms. We have every species pretty much all in a line along the fence line here, planted in June 2015. So six years and seven growing seasons. And we're going to look at these one by one to see how much they've grown and to compare the size of these because these were all planted pretty much at the same size. So, so by panning across you can see some are much bigger than others. So let's have a closer look. So the first palm we have is Trachycarpus nanus, and as you can see, it's still a very, very small plant. Seven growing seasons, six years in the ground here, and look at it, it's not big at all. It's still only about as big as my boot. So it's got no height on it at all. You know, it's like tall as one leaf, and the leaves aren't huge, but they're quite distinctive. There's not too many leaflets on each leaf very 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 slow growing and has no trunk on it whatsoever and then as we move to the next part we have trachycarpus latissectus and as you can see at the same distance it's much bigger so i'll just zoom out a bit and this so far has seen minus 3.5 and snow cover for two days just about two weeks ago and the leaves are okay, we've got four big leaves and the growth has been poor this year because we've had a very poor season. Spring was very, very late coming. Wasn't that good a summer, but we had some decent, awesome weather. So this has only grown, I believe, two, two and a half leaves, which is not very many for this palm. But it's getting taller. If we look down at the trunk, we can see we have a decent little trunk forming down there but not much growth compared to last year, so not much difference at all. And then if we move to the next palm, we have the regular Trachycarpus fortunii, and I'll just step back so you can see that in its full growth. And if you look to the very far left, you can see that compared to the Nanus, see how much difference in size these palms have. And this is the regular Trachycarpus fortunii, which is quite a variable palm, but this has got a proper trunk just really starting to form. It's been slow growing, but again, it was a very small plant when planted in 2015. And you can look back at my older videos in this series and you can see the growth rate of all these palms. The next one, you can just about see it down at the ground level, is again a very, very slow growing one, and that is Trachycarpus gemini sectus with its extremely thick leathery leaves and this only grows a couple of leaves on the best years really and this year it, i think it's only grown one leaf one and a half leaves so very very slow growing but it's alive it's got through minus seven last winter like all these plants so it's done well to carry on growing through this poor year as well so that looks very healthy it's just extremely extremely slow growing I'll step back again and we can see the beautiful Trachycarpus princeps on this very, very dull December morning. Just enough light to make out these palms. Beautiful leaves on here, lots and lots of leaflets. And the growth is steady because this was a very poor specimen when planted in 2015. Had hardly any roots in it at all, but it's quickly established itself and it's actually growing pretty well now and it's grown i think this has grown about two and a half leaves again a poor year and if i just lift one up hopefully it should be nice and blue or white underneath look at that absolutely stunning this is why we grow this palm because although it's slow growing it's got absolutely stunning foliage so when this gets bigger we can look up at this palm and see the wonderful steely white blue leaves and then the next one, not a true species we don't believe, is Trachyapus nanital. Very similar to Fortunii, but should grow much, much bigger, bigger leaves. 
and if we step back we can compare both in the same shot so you can see it's taken over in terms of size now from the Fortunii and I believe the Fortunii was a little larger when planted than the Nanital but very similar just a lot bigger but saying that the next palm is bigger still this is really shot up it's got a full trunk that we can easily see from this distance and it's got nice big healthy leaves this was planted as a manipot or ulcrahensis but i think we're uncertain of that now because the leaves look more like the, the nanital so this could be another nanital like the one to the left either way it's a stunning palm very vigorous fast growing it flowered for the first time as well i believe this year you see the old spent flower stalks there nice crown nice dark fibers at the top not loads of fluffy tum tum on there just a little bit and if we compare that to the next palm which again has a very big trunk has got loads and loads of fluffy tum tum on it and that is a trachycarpus princeps hybrid so i'll just step back step back a lot so you can actually see this and that is absolutely huge now. The leaves on this must be, I've not measured them, but must be approaching a metre across. It's absolutely huge. And if we just compare that with the other palms to your left, which we just looked at in closer detail, you can see it's absolutely huge. And this wasn't a big plant. Again, they're all planted at roughly the same sort of size, but you can see the difference in growth now in the same conditions. This one's an absolute monster fastest growing palm I think I grow and that's the Princeps hybrid we're not sure what the the cross is with but it has white underneath to the leaves we've seen in previous years they're quite white but now it's getting bigger look we're not seeing much white at all on this it's pretty green so it has changed throughout the years you still got the newest leaf the whitish sheen you can see that in the middle there and this has pumped out loads of leaves even in a cool year like this i think it's done about four or five leaves huge leaves but like i said it's growing bigger maturing and it's losing a bit of white underneath the leaves so that has definitely changed but the trunk on it is beautiful nice big trunk very orange coppery looking as well and contrast that to the palm next to it you can see the difference very clearly and the next palm much smaller is Trachycarpus tequil, a lot slower growing. I'll just make that out better for you here. So it's this one here we're looking at. So deep green leaves, pretty fine leaflets, and a very, very small trunk at the moment. Again, seven years, and look at this. The trunk, or the start of the trunk, is only about 30 centimetres tall, if that. Very fine trunk, very long leaves. So that is the true species Trachycarpus tequil. Pretty slow growing still. And then <clears throat> we move on to Trachycarpus marchianus, the most tender species that I grow. And this was struggling in previous years with the roots not really forming at the base and it being extremely wobbly. I have put lots of soil around the base and some bricks and it's quickly made it nice and stable so it's actually not rocking in the ground now so that's fantastic and the trunk's sort of developing pretty well I mean it's been slow growing I think because of the rooting issues but if we look down we can see we've got a nice base of a trunk forming here pretty narrow as we go up but it survived at minus seven doesn't have that orange to determine has some sort of white whitish bits on the, the newest leaves here and that has grown again only about two leaves this year so it's been pretty slow growing but they're very fine leaves very exotic looking compared to the other trachycarpus species and then we move on to the last in this line which is the waggy palm trachycarpus wagerinus and you can see this is not a true species it is a selected cultivated form of fortunia with its much smaller stiffer leaves but very very pretty and that pumps out loads of leaves each year 
Um, this is only, I think it's about three or four this year, so it's been a slow growing year. But it's got a nice trunk as well, forming there. Big and hairy. Let's just focus on the trunk there. There we go. Beautiful thing. And it keeps the leaves right from the ground, right all the way up to the top. So a stunning palm. And you can see compared to the Marchionis and the Princeps hybrid, which looks a bit whiter in this light here. It's not as big, but it's growing pretty well. So that fence there is a six foot fence. So we're not approaching that yet for any of these palms apart from the Princeps hybrid. Right, let's move on to the Nova. So lots to take in on this shot, but in the middle, we do have the Trachycarpus Nova, which is meant to be the quickest growing one. This is mainly in shade here. And if we go in, you can see the trunk's covered in all sorts of other vegetation, but it's got a nice robust trunk in the middle there. And it's pretty big now. It's tall as any of the palms along the fence line, probably a bit taller. And you can see it's got big, big leaves like the Princeps hybrid. They're about, well, close to a metre across, something like that. Lots of nice drooping leaflets. And that's quite a beautiful looking palm. And I'll try to get them in the same shot. So you can see, if I hold this level, so we're looking about just over two metres tall there, if I go around. There's the other palms at the same sort of size. So now it's time to look at two more Trachycarpus palms. So here we have the true Trachycarpus ulcrahensis, formerly known as Manipur. This was growing well for five years and I transplanted it last year to this location and it's really struggled. So it's not looking good at all. It's only pushed out one leaf in the centre and sort of a second spear forming. So it doesn't look good for this one. I do have another true Wilkensis in the front garden, which is much, much smaller than this. But as we're comparing over the years the same plants, I thought we have to show you this palm. So hopefully it will pull through and it will root well. But at the moment it's not looking great. But when this is in its prime, it has some amazing big, big leaves and it should be a huge palm. But as you can see, it's not looking fantastic, unfortunately, because of the transplants. It's really not like the root disturbance. And now, possibly saving the best till last, the rarest palm I grow, one of the rarest palms you can get in the UK and Northern Europe, is a Trachycarpus oriophyllus. And this has put out a huge trunk now, lots of growth. Very, very slender though, beautiful leaves at the top. I'm ducking down while I take this foliage. It's not uh, footage. It's not quite as big as it appears, but it's definitely tall as me now. So it's about two meters tall. The leaves are going much taller than that. So let's just stand up. So this is yeah, this is just over two meters tall, two and a half meters for the tallest leaves at the top, and the trunk is a good one meter fifty. Very slender trunk, like I said, it's grown really well, but it was hit by the minus seven and the really cold weather we had last winter. So the leaves did die off in early spring, more or less. We only had a few in the middle surviving, because it wasn't protected at all. But they've come back well. And if we just go into the center, we can see the details there of the crown. And we can also see the fact that these beautiful leaves, look at them, very distinctive fan-shaped leaves in a proper fan shape. Very fine leaflets but fused together at the base to about halfway through on the newest leaves at least. Wonderful palm, quite distinct from the other Trachycarpus and I'm very fortunate to have this wonderful species growing in my garden. There are other species, well other Trachycarpus palms in my garden, lots of other hybrids as well, but these are the ones that we've been comparing for the last seven seasons. And like I said, you can look back at the other videos to see how much or how little they've actually grown. So thank you for watching this edition of Exotic Garden UK. Join me next week, we'll be doing more in the garden.